Hello there Uplanders, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna put myself into beginner shoes and show you the smart way of how you can spend $100 in the game of Upland. Let's begin. We will divide our spending in two different categories. First one we'll be buying Spark and the second one we'll be buying properties. Let's begin with the Spark. If we check the prices for Spark we can see in this table here and the most smart or the smartest purchase for us considering the budget that we have of 100 bucks is 0.1 spark it's 55 dollars 55 percent of your spendings will go into this investment which will be really important and now you can ask me why do i need to buy spark and why am i talking about spark at the first place and the answer is really important if you want to construct buildings on your property that is the only thing you'll need why do we need to construct buildings now you will ask because the value of our property will increase and the buildings will have future use in the game of upland so it's really important to know something more about the constructions and buildings and i have one other video right over here which you can check out and learn more about building structures in upland after purchasing spark so we said 55 dollars uh, we have left 45 dollars when we convert $45 into UPX, which is the in-game currency, we get 45,000 UPX. And now we will spend this money on buying properties. The best tool that you can search for unminted FSA properties, remember this, unminted FSA properties is uplandoptimizer.com. This is the website, create account, and you can research and make the best purchases in the game. You're gonna ask me, why do I need to buy FSA and FSA means first start act properties all right and why do you need to buy this there are a couple of really important answers first one is that much cheaper than regular properties and then it's also available to you only under 100,000 UPX net worth when you're uplander level until you get to pro level you will have access to these kind of properties which are cheap and specifically designed for you to buy the third reason is because you will mint them, you will become the first owner, so you will not buy them, but mint them, become the first owner, and then you will later on flip them for profits. Of course, you can start building because you already have Spark, and later on the, the value of your properties will increase, and then you can earn more and more money. So let's now check out in which city is the best for you to buy FSA properties at this moment. So these are these are FSA unminted properties. So we have Detroit and I have, have two cities to recommend right now. First one is Detroit, which is the cheapest one at this moment in the game. Look at the floor price FSA property size is 39, which is good, good size. And it's 1,638 UPX. And you can see the others, it's all, all below 3,000. So let's say you have 45K and one property is around 2K, maybe 2.2, 2.3. So you can easily buy 15 to 20 properties in Detroit. And let's say you have 0.1 Spark, you have 15 properties in Detroit, you immediately begin constructing in the city and other properties you can put on sale and earn let's say you have this one 2080 you can immediately after purchase put it on sale for let's say 5000 6000 8000 depending on the area and you can earn 100 to 2x 3x maybe even 4x of the amount and you have 10 properties or 15 multiply that times 15 and you get the math out of course this is, will not happen overnight you need to be patient but eventually it will happen the second city that I want to recommend is Queens. Queens, you can see here, it's a little bit more expensive, but I think the value will grow faster than in Detroit because of the location and of the demand. And from my experience, I already got some really nice flipping going on in Queens. So uh, my favorite place for now, at this moment, to begin playing game, for to recommend that I recommend to all beginners to buy FSA unminted properties in Queens. You're gonna buy less amount of properties than in Detroit, that's for sure, because the floor is 2,793. Let's say you buy 10. You can buy 10 properties, that's gonna be around 40K, and you immediately put them on sale, and later on you can even earn double the money you invested, right? It's all possible. And don't forget about Spark, 
on one property use the spark and just start building later on you can buy more spark and just increase the the speed of your construction which in beginning will be super slow but nevertheless it's a good way it's one of the best ways how you can spend 100 bucks in upland so i want to know what what's your opinion what is your idea to spend 100,000 upx or 100 dollars in upland and let me know what you think about my ideas and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye bye thank you for sticking around until the end of this video if you found some value in it you know where the like button is good luck with the game and i'm gonna see you in upland